Namaste everyone, welcome to AM Yoga Moves. My name is Anne-Marie and in this class we're going to be looking at postures, at asanas from a perspective of satya, of truth. So if you haven't watched uh, my tutorial on satya, I invite you to do that before you start today's class. It's going to be a lot of help. So we're going to start this class in a seated position. If keeping your back straight while sitting on the ground is too difficult, by all means, feel free to use a block to elevate, or a cushion if you don't have a block, to elevate the hips and make sure that you're sitting in such a way that your chest is open and that you're able to breathe properly. You can put the back of your hands on your thighs. Just roll your shoulders back. Bring your chin a little bit towards your chest and gently start to close your eyes. Take a few moments here to bring your attention inside the room where you are, to bring yourself your attention inside of the body, inside of the mind. And let's just start out this class by inviting ourselves to really look within and while looking in the mind, while looking in the body, asking ourselves what it is that we really need. And to approach the practice, today's practice, from that perspective. You know, we often hear Nowadays, it feels as though it's very popular. We hear, you know, living your own truth, finding your own truth. And while that can inspire us, it can be challenging to actually find within what that truth is. So just giving yourself today that opportunity to identify that or maybe even just identify you know that you don't know <laughs> which is also the truth okay let's take a few deep breaths together so through the nose, start by exhaling all the air out of your lungs, navel towards the spine. And now inhale for one, two, three, four, hold at the top. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Let's repeat, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold at the top, exhale for four, three, two, one, and pause there at the end as well. Two more times, inhale, filling the lungs all the way up to the collarbones, hold the breath, Exhale through the nose, deeply bringing the navel in towards the spine and holding the breath for a second there at the end as well. Last time, last inhale. Hold and exhale completely.
Very nice, everyone. You can gently open your eyes. Look straight ahead. Still sitting on in this comfortable posture. Interlace your ten fingers in front of you. You can turn the palms outward. And then take a deep inhale and bring the arms all the way up. So just stretching from the sternum upward, opening the chest, thinking as if somebody's pulling you up from between your two pectoral muscles all the way to the sky. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Imagine you're pressing into the ceiling with the palms of your hands. Now on your next inhale, stretch up as tall as you can. And as you exhale, just twist to your right. So here, keep the spine straight, navel in towards the spine, and try to keep your hips exactly where they were positioned before. So again, from this perspective of honesty, we want to maintain alignment before depth. Okay, doing the posture in the proper way. Now let's inhale again, stretch up tall. Exhale, twist one more time to the right. Take one last deep inhale. And as you exhale, bring the body back forward. Now let's go on the other side, left side. Inhale, stretch the spine up. Exhale, twist to the left. So hips facing forward. Upper body twisting to the left. Palms facing the sky, navel in, chest out as much as possible, inhale, stretch up, exhale, twist one more time, keeping the ears in line with the biceps, inhale one last time, and as you exhale, come back to the front, very good, and just bring the palms inward again, bringing the arms down. Very good. Now let's interlace the fingers in the back. It's possible your palms may not be able to touch. That's fine. If you also feel like you need a strap, if you have one handy, you can use it. So what I would like you to do is just interlace your ten fingers, stretch the arms all the way back, maybe up a little bit if you can. Take a nice inhale, fill the lungs, look up, and as you exhale, bend forward as you bring the arms upward. It can just be a little bit, it doesn't need to be much. Relax the head, the throat, the jaw muscles. Relax your face. Take a nice inhale, try to bring the arms maybe a little bit more upward. And as you exhale, come back up to standing or to sitting rather, and release. Okay, so still working in this throat area, which is the focus chakra for today's class, Satya. First of all, just make sure you're, st you're sitting up straight. Take your right hand and bring it over on top of your left ear like so. And then just gently without, you know, you don't want to give out a big tug, just gently let your head fall over to the right. Keep the body up straight, so it's just the head that we're bending. Chin towards the chest. Right ear in line with the right shoulder. Now this should feel quite nice, especially if you're tense in the shoulders. And just maintaining that calm rhythm of breath through the nose. Give yourself a nice stretch to just the right degree of what your body needs today. Very nice. Release, come all the way up. Let's do the other side. So left hand comes up and over onto the right ear. Inhale, and as you exhale, just Bend the head over to the left. 
Make sure you tuck in your chin towards your chest so that you're extending the cervical spine. Also make sure that your left ear is aligned with your left shoulder, spine straight. You're not bending with the upper back either. You're just bending the head here and looking calmly on a point on the ground in front of you. And again, relaxing the muscles, the tenseness that you might be feeling here that's being released through this nice and gentle neck stretch. Inhale. And as you exhale, release, come back up. Now again, interlace your 10 fingers, maybe change the cross from what you were doing previously. So change the, bring the other index forward. Bring your hands behind, just above your neck on your head. Inhale. And as you exhale, just bend the head forward. And without, you know, pressing, you're not actively pressing on the head, you're just using the gravity and the weight of your hands and arms to provide you with a nice stretch now in your trapeze muscles, in your cervical spine. Again, make sure you're keeping your back straight, navel tucked in towards the spine. Very good. On your next inhale, just come all the way up and release the hands. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, throughout the class as we're going to be progressing through these, some of the postures which we're going to be holding a little while. And then while, when we're going to be taking a break in downward dog, I'm going to invite you to do lion's breath. So I just want to show you what it is before. Please don't laugh. <laughs> Although it's all right if you do. So this breath, I love it because it really allows to, you know, loosen up the muscles in the neck, in the jaw. And it's just such a freedom, a sense of freedom when you actually do it correctly. So the idea is that you want to be looking with your two eyes towards your third eye, which is right here between your two eyebrows. So when you, you what I would like you to do is inhale, and when you exhale, you stick out your tongue and you can actually voice, like blow out the air from your mouth uh, with a sound. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like so that then you can do it on your own when I tell you to do it during the class. So inhale. <sighs> okay, so that's what Lion's Breath is. It's going to feel amazing. So I think we've done enough here. We can. Start by removing the block and let's come up onto our feet and let's start with a few sun salutations, okay? So feet together, Surya Namaskara A to start with. So either your feet together if you want, you can just bring the heels a little bit apart, arms to your side, tuck in that tailbone, navel in, chest up, shoulders, just relax the shoulders, chin towards the chest. Exhale through the nose, inhale, bring the arms up, stretch them up, look up, palms together, exhale, bend from the hips, straight back, or bend the knees if you have trouble doing that, hands to the ground, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back, stretch the spine out in front of you, exhale, plant the hands, you can walk or you can jump into plank. Exhale, go halfway down into Chaturanga or all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, you choose. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. I'm going to stay here for five breaths. If you feel like you need to walk your dog, so bend one knee at a time, you can do that. So this is all about, this class is all about giving what your body needs giving yourself what you need, which is not necessarily always what you want. <laughs> 
So keep that in mind as well. Roll those shoulders out and away from one another, pushing through the hands, navel towards the spine, tailbone towards the sky, heels nicely falling, pressing down into the mat. One last deep inhale, exhale. Inhale, look forward between the hands. You can walk forward or bend the knees and jump between the hands. Do a flat back on the inhale. Exhale, hands down, forehead to the shins. Inhale, come all the way up, back straight, bend the knees if you need to. Hands up, palms together, look up. Exhale, bring the hands down in Namaskara, hands to each side of the body. Let's repeat that, inhale. Arms up, palms together. Exhale, bend from the hips, chest proud, hands on each side of the feet, forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back, stretch that spine out. Exhale, plant the hands, walk or jump into plank. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga, or go all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, Downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, look forward between the hands, bend the knees, walk or jump forward. Flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, forehead to the shins. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Spine straight, palms together. Exhale, hands down in Namaskara and then on each side of the body. Again, inhale, stretch the arms up. Palms together, look up. Exhale, bend from the hips, flat back. Hands down, forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back, stretch that spine out. Exhale, plant the hands, walk or jump, plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Three legged downward dog. Align the hips. Make sure your toes are pointing directly down onto your mat. Both legs, thighs contracted. Try to make a perfect line from your right heel that's up in the air all the way down to your hands that are down onto your mat. Belly button in. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. Exhale, go into plank position and bring the right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow. Switch, right elbow on the exhale. Left elbow, inhale, switch back to right. Switch back to left, switch back to right. And now, as you inhale, stretch the right leg up, back into three-legged downward dog. And then bring your right foot down. Very good, let's do the other leg. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged downward dog on the other side. Once again, check your hip alignment. Left toes pointing downward towards the mat. Both legs extended, both thighs contracted. Are your shoulders relaxed all the while you're doing everything else? Arms extended, press all the fingers onto the mat. Inhale, stretch the left leg up as much as you can. And on the exhale, bring the left knee to the left elbow in plank position. Inhale, right elbow. Exhale, left elbow. Continue switching, right elbow, left elbow. Very good, one more time. Right elbow, left elbow. Now inhale, left leg all the way up, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, bring the left foot down into downward facing dog. And guess what you guys? 
We're going to do lion's breath. So inhale through the nose. Stick out your tongue and let it out. Fantastic. Inhale, look in front between your hands. Bend the knees, walk or jump between your hands. Do flat back, spine out. Exhale, hands on the mat, forehead to the shins. Inhale, come all the way up. Stretch the arms up, palms together. Exhale, hands down to Namaskara, and then on each side of the body. Very good, half moon series. Inhale, bring the arms up. Interlace the 10 fingers, index to the sky. So for those of you that have watched the tutorial, this also happens to be the mudra that goes with our theme of the truth today, the satnam mudra. So if you're a woman, cross the left thumb on top of the right thumb. Make sure your palms stay together throughout this exercise, all right? Try to keep your arms as straight as possible, but don't bring the shoulders up. So just do what you can. We're gonna start by going to the right, bending to the right, so inhale. Stretch up nice and tall. Exhale, bend over to the right. As if you were bending between two walls. So hips forward, chest open. It's as if you're kind of wanting to go backward with that upper body, opening the chest. Feel the nice stretch in all the left side of your chest. Weight on the heels, thighs contracted. Let's. Bend over one more time, so inhale, stretch out. Exhale, bend over to the right. Now inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, in standing position. Let's go on the other side. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Exhale, bend over to the left. So I realized, I forgot the men, so the men should be crossing the right thumb over the left. So if that's not what you've done, you can switch your grip. Keep that pelvis forward, chest open, hips and shoulders aligned as if you were in between two walls. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, bend a little bit deeper, but just to the right limit, always following what your body needs, following that truth. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale into place. We're gonna do a little back bend here, so just Go to your own limit. Don't overdo it. So keep the weight in your heels here, thighs contracted. Push the pelvis forward. And what I want you to think about when we're gonna be doing this back bend is really to just push your chest as high up as possible rather than thinking about going back, okay? So you can look up towards your hands. Inhale, stretch the chest up. And then as you exhale, just Bring upper body a little bit back. Very good. You can do it one more time. So inhale, stretch that chest up, arms up. Exhale, slight back bend. Now inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, just und undo the fingers. Bring the hands down in Namaskara and the hands to each side of the body. We're going to move along to Surya Namaskar B. So exhale, inhale, bend the knees, brush the tips of the fingers on the mat, and bring the hands up in Utkatasan. Okay, so chair pose. Belly in, chest up. Try to bring your arms up without bringing your shoulders up. Look up towards your hands. Very good, so we're gonna go very slow for this first series. And once again, I invite you to listen to your body. So hips low, without sticking your bum out, so tailbone towards the ground, weight in the heels. Inhale, chest up, very good. Now on your next inhale, I want you to come up onto your tippy toes. Very good, so still in that chair, bring the toes up, or the heels up rather. I want to be, you to be balancing on your toes. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the heels down. One last inhale, chest up, 
arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Uttanasa, hands on each side of the feet. Forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back. Now stretch the spine forward and out. Exhale, plant the hands. You can just walk or jump back into plank. Okay, we're gonna stay in plank. <laughs> so we're taking this quite slowly. As you can see, we're testing our endurance. And try to notice. So as we're sticking these postures for a longer time, just try to take notice in how the ego is reacting <laughs> to what's going on, okay? So it's possible that you can't be, you're not able to hold the plank for very long. If so, you can just bring the knees on the mat. But this is just an interesting opportunity, as I said, to take a look at what the mind is saying in these moments of challenge. So you're pushing your shoulder blades away from one another, tailbone towards your um, heels, right? So you should be feeling it in the abs. Let's take one last inhale. Exhale, come all the way down. Try to resist, resist, resist. If those of you that can stick Chaturanga, stay down here. Okay, very good. And on the, on the next inhale, come up into upward facing dog or cobra. Then exhale into downward facing dog. Very good, we're gonna do lion's breath one more, once more. So that was pretty challenging. So let's inhale deeply. And as you exhale, let it all out, stick your tongue out. Very good. Especially if you're alone, feel free to really, you know, just do it as much as you like, that, that lion's breath. You're gonna notice it feels so good. Very good, so this time, Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. Pivot the back foot, back heel onto the mat. And on your next inhale, bring the arms up. So at the moment, we are in warrior one, which means hips forward as much as possible. Navel in. I don't want people to have the upper body forward, so upper body back, hips squared, knee above the heel, arms up, okay? Inhale, stretch up. Maybe try to look up if you can to test your balance. And as you exhale, just bring the arms out. Very nice, open the chest. Now on the next inhale, we're just gonna extend the front leg and bring the arms out. Very good, exhale, bend the front knee, open the arms. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, stretch the front leg, arms up, you can look up to test your balance. Exhale, bend that front knee, open the arms. One last time, inhale, extend the front leg, arms up, look up, exhale, bend the knee, Arms to the side. Very good. Now inhale, bring the arms up and forward and up into the warrior one. And exhale, bring the arms down back. Interlace the fingers. Stretch the arms back. So we're going to be going into humble warrior. So inhale, chest up. Exhale, bend the upper body forward and down as much as you can while bringing the arms up. So here, especially if you're comfortable, I want you to try bringing your right hip inward to maintain the alignment between your right hip, your right knee, and your right um, ankle. Very good, you're pressing for your left foot, so for that back leg that's extended, I want you to press the outer edge of your foot onto the mat. Very nice, keep the hips low. Nice. Now on your next inhale, come all the way back up. Let go of the hands. Bring the arms up back into warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa. So hands on each side of the front foot, right foot back. We're back into our plank, people. You can do it. 
So push those shoulder blades away from one another. Chin towards the chest, belly in, your pubic bone towards your navel, legs extended, push through the heels, contract the thighs. Fantastic. Now we're going to transfer onto side plank, okay? So shift the weight into your right hand, pivot your heels to the right, and bring your left arm up. Good. Make sure your right wrist is aligned with your right shoulder. You can look straight in front or look towards the sky where your left hand is. Make sure that your arms are perpendicular to the floor. If you feel like this is enough, stay here. If you want to give yourself an extra little challenge, you can always raise your left leg off of the ground as high as possible. And let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Left foot down, left hand on the mat, back into plank. Take one inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Let's resist it, guys. If you're going all the way down, resist. If you're in Chaturanga, stay here for a second. And on your next inhale, push forward and up. Very good. Chest up. Push that chest up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Very good. So we have another side to do. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Inhale, lift the left leg up, all the way up. Now exhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands. Pivot the right heel onto the mat. Okay, on your next inhale, bring the arms and upper body up. And you are now in warrior one on the other side. So warrior one, we really wanna be imagining that we're pushing our hips forward, okay? Navel in, hips forward, chest up. Arms up, mm -hmm. and you can look up as well. So you wanna keep this hips nice and low so that your front thigh is as much as possible parallel to the ground, left knee um, just above your heel. So inhale, stretch the upper body, arms up. Exhale, open the arms to each side. Very good. So we're gonna pulse like we did on the other side. So inhale. Extend the front leg, arms up, look up if you want to test your balance. Exhale, bend the left knee, arms out. Very good, two more times. Inhale, extend the front leg, arms up. Exhale, bend the front knee, arms out. One last time, inhale, stretch, extend the front leg, look up, exhale, bend, the left knee, arms out. Very good. Now inhale. Back, arms back up in front and to the sky. And as you exhale, bring them down. Interlace the 10 fingers, maybe switching the interlace. And extend the arms backwards. Inhale, stretch the chest up, look up. And on the exhale, we're going into humble warrior. So upper body, forward and down. Bring the arms over and up, hips. So bring that left hip inward to align hip, knee, ankle. Let the head relax. Pressing the outer edge of the right foot. So the right leg that's extended towards the back, press that onto the mat, lifting the arches of the feet. Very good. Now inhale, come all the way up, chest up, arms up to the sky, back into warrior one. And as you exhale, vinyasa, so hands forward between the left foot, the left foot back into plank. Very good, we're back into our plank. Now we're gonna do the side plank on the other side. So bring the weight into your left hand, pivot the heels to the left, right arm up. So do the same variation. If you were looking upward towards the ceiling on the other side, do the same here. Check your alignment. So shoulder directly above the wrist, pressing all the fingers into the hands, hips up, but not outward. So hips, pelvis forward as if somebody was pulling you forward. 
And if you lift the foot on the other side, attempt to do so on this side, always respecting your limits. Lift it up as high as possible. And let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Right foot down, right hand on the mat, back into plank. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga, resisting all the way down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Super. Lion's breath, you guys, let's relax. So inhale. Stick your tongue out, let it out. Excellent. Okay, so we're just gonna work a little bit on the hips, still staying in downward facing dog. If you feel like you need a break, bring the knees on the mat. It's not a problem at all, okay? Otherwise, inhale, lift the right leg up. Bend the right knee and stack the right hip on top of the left hip. So here the challenge is try and keep your shoulders as if you were in downward facing dog. Okay, so shoulders parallel to the mat and we're really just opening through the hips here. Should feel very nice, especially on the right side of the abdomen. For me, I really like this posture. Gives me a nice stretch there. Open the chest. So we can stay here, or we can reverse this three-legged opened hip downward dog by bringing the right foot on the mat behind us. So see if you can do that. Left leg should be extended, and then you can just push your chest up, bring the right arm over and out, palm facing down, Very nice, so let's reverse that. If you're in the reverse downward dog, right hand on the mat, back into three-legged downward dog, and then bring your right foot on the mat. Super. If you feel like you need lion's breath at this point in time, do it. You can walk your dog. So we're holding this downward dog for quite a while because we're learning where to relax here also in the posture by doing that. How can we relax? This is supposed to be recovery posture. Okay, let's do the left side. So inhale, left leg up. Bend the left knee, and then left hip on top of the right. And same thing as the other side. We want to be opening the hips, not the shoulders. So take a look at your alignment. Pressing all ten fingers into the mat. Rolling your triceps you know, towards the mat. Biceps aligned with the ear. Breathing through the nose. And let's flip the dog if that's what you did on the other side. So left foot, just flip it over on the mat, right leg extended. Bring the left arm up and over. Very good. Chest up. And to reverse this, left hand back on the mat, left leg up into three-legged downward dog, and left leg down into downward facing dog. <laughs> Very nice. Now inhale through the nose, exhale, let it all out. <sighs> From here, let's just bring both knees onto the mat. Very good. <laughs> We're just going to go into child's pose for a little while. So bring the knees out, the width of your mat, okay? And try to bring the hips down back onto your heels. And from here, chest down, forehead on the mat. I just want you to relax the point between your two eyebrows onto the mat. If you'd like to slow down the heartbeat at this point, if you feel like you lost your breath a little bit, 
you can just extend the exhales. So just try to exhale for as long as you can. And perhaps take a minute here to, to notice if it's more challenging for you to be in these postures where we are still in the yoga practice, sometimes because our lives are so much filled with action, when we actually stop, that's when all the emotions, everything sort of rises up. And just take, take the time here to notice if that's what's happening. And whatever sensation or thought that comes to mind, just Inhale, fill the body with prana, with energy, and as you exhale, simply let it go. One last inhale here. And exhale completely. Now gently on your next inhale, just come on to all fours. And we are going to go into Anahat Asana. So this is the heart opening posture. Make sure your hips stay directly above your knees. And from here, well, you, if you'd like, you can bring a block so that it's just under your chest. And what I'd like you to do is extend your arms forward in such a way that your chest will come touching down onto the block or onto the ground. So I'm kind of in between here, so I'm going to remove the block. But again, be honest with yourself. Give yourself what your body needs today. So even in this posture here, the heart opening posture, um, make sure that you're rolling your shoulder blades away from one another and sort of bringing your tricep, your triceps inward, okay? From out to in, kind of, if, kind, of, kind of if you wanted to bring your triceps to each side of your face. So this, doing this will avoid getting any impingement in your shoulders. So you shouldn't feel any pinching sensation or any loss of sensation in the tips of your fingers while you're doing this. If this is the case, be very careful and look into your alignment. So forehead on the mat. And always using the breath to sort of allow your body to relax. And using the postures to go within and find that own personal truth. Very good. From here, on your next inhale, stay on your forearms and just bring your body, your belly, onto the mat. So we're gonna move into sphinx posture. So keep your elbows just below your shoulders, palms on the ground. And this posture is just a great opportunity to really practice pushing that chest up, okay? So just below your shoulder blades uh, in your back is where you should be feeling your muscles really being engaged. So you're pushing your chest up. Your belly stays on the mat. Shoulders relaxed. Face relaxed, just looking straight ahead of you. And it's as if you're kind of pulling yourself forward using your forearms.
Excellent. And from here, just come down onto your belly. As we move towards a floor series, a spine strengthening series that I really, really love. Okay, so the first one, we're just going to go into airplane. Okay, <laughs> so Salabhasana. Bring your arms out to the sides. Make sure your wrists are in line with your shoulders, legs together, thighs contracted, so your knees should be lifted off of the ground. And on your next inhale, lift the legs, lift the chest, lift the arms up. Look up. Only your belly. Imagine only your belly is touching the mat. Let's stay here. Let's fly, you guys. Inhale. Chest up. Legs up. Arms up. One more time. Look up. And on the exhale, come all the way down. Turn your head to the right. Arms down. Palms facing up and breathe. Next posture. Bring the forehead onto the mat and I want you to slip your hands underneath your mat as if you were doing a volleyball return. So palms on the ground, both arms underneath. Now, if you suffer from carpal tunnel problems, this may be a little intense for you. So please um, respect your body, respect your limits. Now, spread the fingers underneath you. And although I have to say this posture is very healing, very therapeutic, so don't not do it. Just do it with caution and get out of the posture if you feel like it's too much. Okay, so we're going to start by lifting up one leg at a time. In Purna Salabhasana, so inhale, left leg up, right leg up, sorry, right leg up. Keep the hips aligned. Stretch the right leg back and up. No bend in the knee. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Right leg down. Now, other leg, left leg. So inhale, left leg up. Keep your right leg relaxed while you're doing the opposite leg. So stretch that left leg back and up. Hips on the mat. Pressing onto those fingers. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now for the two challenge, let's do both legs at the same time. So if you feel like you need to readjust the hands, bring the elbows in closer. Do so, spread the fingers, press them onto the mat, contract both thighs, lift the knees off of the ground, inhale, and as you exhale, lift both legs up. You're pushing onto the hands. Let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Remove the arms. Palms to the sky, turn the head left this time. Notice the blood flushing back into the elbows, forearms, wrist, fingers. So by compressing for a while and then releasing, we're creating what we call a tourniquet effect and which allows like just more blood flow into the articulations of the body and restore the youth, ultimately. It was very, very good. Excellent. Bring the chin back on the mat, bend the knees. So we're gonna go into floor bow. So with your hands, Try to see if you can grab the top of your feet. Okay, make sure the thumb is included in the grip. All fingers together. And no sticking the knees out here. So bring the knees together. Okay, imagine that you're holding like a, a volleyball or something between your knees so that you don't want the ball to come down as you're pulling up. And on your next inhale, I'd like you to push with your feet so that you're raising your knees a little bit off of the ground. 
Keep your shoulders relaxed. Look up. Arms extended. Legs up. You're pushing with those legs. Keep the knees together. Chest up. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one. And gently relax. Oh, this time I would like you to just bring your palms on the mat just below your forehead to create a sort of little pillow for your forehead and bring the forehead on the mat. And relax. Good. From here, however you like, gently just turn onto your backs. Keep the heels hip width just underneath your knees, feet parallel. Okay, so we're going to go into bridge posture, bridge pose. Make sure your lower back is on the mat. So if you need to lift up your hips and then just set that lower part of your spine on the mat, arms to your sides, palm facing down, and bring your chin to your chest so that you're, you know, able to imagine at least that you can see your navel, okay? So from here, take a nice inhale, and as you exhale, lift the hips up as high as you can, okay? Make sure your feet don't come out like in a duck style. So keep those feet in that H position, H style, <laughs> parallel. So belly button towards the sky, trying to bring the hips up as parallel as possible to your knees. And your chest, I'd like you to think about pushing your chest towards your chin. So again, compressing the throat chakra here. And if you can continue, I'd like you to interlace your 10 fingers below your back and really come up even a little bit higher so that your shoulders are almost, you know, you're almost pressing into those trapeze muscles. And this should feel quite nice, allowing a nice stretch in that cervical area and the neck, compressing the throat, massaging the thyroid gland. Only a few more seconds here. Keep on pushing with those quadriceps, lifting those hips. Inhale, push those hips up, chest towards the chin. And as you exhale and unlace the fingers, palms on the ground, you can lift your heels if you'd like and just slowly come down one vertebra at a time. Very good. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Pavamuktasana, wind removing. Keep your right knee in your chest. Extend the left leg down onto the mat. Flex the left foot. Interlace the fingers. Grab your shin just below your right knee. Make sure your body is aligned. Inhale, exhale, bring the right knee in towards the chest. Shoulders pressing into the mat. Look towards your navel to stretch that cervical spine onto the mat. Lower back on the mat. Inhale, give yourself one last little squeeze. And exhale, relax the right leg down. Bring the left knee into your chest, bending the knee, grabbing your shin just below the left knee. Inhale, exhale, knee towards the chest. 
Make sure you're not lifting up your left heel, right, to compensate. So keeping those hips aligned, being truthful in the posture, doing it the right way, rather than going deep into the posture, but without respecting the alignment of the body, which is the, the fundamental, in order to get the benefits of the posture. Inhale, give yourself one last little squeeze. Exhale, relax the left leg on the ground. Okay. And again, take note how the, the blood there just flushes back into the, into the legs, into the knees. It feels so good, doesn't it? Today, our second last posture, I should say, is we're going to go into halasana. So, um, shoulder stand. Okay, going through halasana onto shoulder stand. So bring the arms on each side of the body, palms facing down. Okay, you can start by bringing your knees up and then feet up, so legs extended. And as you inhale, you just want to push your hands onto your mat, okay, to bring your feet up and over, like so. Okay, this may be already a challenge for you, so it's not a problem. Um, as you saw, so if you'd like, you can sort of use your hands, place them on your middle back, and really try to bring your trapeze muscles, bring the upper part of the shoulders and the trapeze muscles onto the mat. Now, this should not hurt in any way, shape, or form. So if it is hurting you, do not do it, okay? Um, you can also, if you'd like, interlace your 10 fingers and try to work it out that way. So you really want to have the top part of your deltoid of your shoulder and your trapeze on the mat, okay? And once you're comfortable, keep the hands on the middle back and then start bringing the feet all the way up. Okay, so you want to make a straight line as much as possible so you're pushing your chest again, once again, into your throat. So you're really focusing on the throat area today with all of the postures that we've done. And you're just breathing here, trying to maintain alignment, so pushing the hips forward, knees up, heels, knees, hips as, long, as aligned as possible, to toes not too contracted, just leave the feet relaxed. Very good. So doing this inversion here, just letting our bodies know that we are winding down, bringing more blood into the vital organs as well, which is very nourishing. Being upside down is not something we tend to do <laughs> every day, so it's very good. Now, in order to get out of the posture, Please come back into Halasana. So bring the feet up and over again. Arms down, palms on the mat. And then gently unravel the spine one vertebrae at a time. Nice. Okay. So we're going to do the counter posture for this plow pose that we did, halasana as well as plow pose. So just bring your arms on each side of the body. Um, we're going to go into fish pose. So bring the arms on each side of the body, palms down. And what I'd like you to do is just come up onto your elbows. So lift the upper body to come up a little bit onto your elbows. And then you would just want to slide towards your head. Let your head go back. And what you're trying to do is sort of bring the crown of your head onto the mat. So really stretching out the throat. You're not pressing the crown of the head onto the mat, okay? You're just resting it there. Most of the weight is on your elbows here. Take a nice inhale. And on the exhale, gently come out. Chin to the chest. 
Super. Okay, so spine twist, just to finish this off before we go into Savasana. Bring both of the knees into the chest. And, um, well, actually, let's do it one-legged. I haven't done this. The left leg extended, right knee into the chest, arms in T-shaped alongside your body. You can scoot your hips a little bit over to the right. As you exhale, let the right knee fall over to the left. Okay, and if you want, with your left hand, you can just grab the outside of your right knee for extra support. Look to your right hand. Now here you want to keep your right shoulder on the mat. And enjoy this nice spine twist. Very good. Inhale, come back to center. Bring both knees in. You can give yourself a little squeeze if that feels good. And now extend the right leg. Bring your arms back into T-shaped alongside your body, wrists aligned with the shoulders. Inhale, and as you exhale, let your left leg fall over to the right. You can bring that right hand on the outside of the left thigh. That feels good, and then look to the left. I was thinking about this really nice quote that um, I've read from Steve Jobs, and it says, he says, you know, have the courage to listen to your heart and your deep intuition because they somehow already know who you want to become. And uh, I like that. It's not easy. You know, we, we have all these different fears that we hold on to, and sometimes also the very thing that we would like to change about ourselves, somehow deep down inside we are the ones responsible for holding on to that. So in this class about Satya, about truth, and, and I hope that you can carry that off of your mat as well, is to really listen to your truth, to your inner truth, and, and to follow that, and to have the courage to, to be what you really want to be. Sometimes not something very grandiose or, you know, out there, it's just in a very simple and subtle way, being truthful with yourself, so. Let's take a nice inhale, come back to center. Bring both knees into the chest. You can give yourself a hug, and for the last one, if you'd like, bring up your forehead to your knees, contact between the forehead and the knees. And then exhale, and then just spread out the legs, the width of the mat, arms to the sides, palms to the sky. Push yourself upward towards your head so that your trapeze muscles, your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Close your eyes. Shavasana.
Okay, beautiful people, just start moving your toes, your fingers. If you'd like, just take a stretch. Body, as if you're just waking up for the second time today. <clears throat> second to roll over gently on your side, on your right side. Take a pause there. And slowly come back up to sitting position. Legs crossed. Same way we started. Bring your hands into prayer. Just take a second to really acknowledge and give yourself the gratitude for having taken the time out of your day to take care of yourself. So I hope that you carry the, the teachings from Satya off of your mat as well, that you live a life that is authentic and true. We'll see each other next week on our mat with next week's theme, next yama. From now until then, much love, much energy your way. Namaste.